Hey, welcome back. This is part eight of my Chrono Cross Platinum walkthrough, where we're getting all the trophies in a good optimal way. Uh, so, first of all, we want to change our party. So, come over to the save point, um, teleporter. We want Lena and Rasli in our party. Um, so, Lena and Rasli, the Green Fairy. Oh no, yep. Sorry, I can't change Sarge, of course. Yeah, once you've got them two in your party, so Sarge, Lena, and Razzle. Just going to go into our elements and just make sure we've got what we need equipped. So Sarge needs Lumina, which he should have equipped anyway. Uh, that's his, um, yeah, it's level 5 tech, so he should have that equipped. And Razzle needs... Yeah, I think we've already got a crypt actually. Yeah, Rasly needs his um, Ras Flower, I think it's called. Yes, Ras Flower. So make sure he's got that. We should have put that up a little bit, not not too long ago. I think it was in the last video. And Lena, she needs to have um, this one equipped, Maiden's Faith. So lob that on her. And that's all we need. So we need them three. And then when we get in a battle, we're just going to use that tech. And then after we've done that battle, we'll just switch back our um, team. All right, let's get a modifier, son. And let's go for it. Yeah, so it's going to be a boss to begin with anyway. A yellow blob. So we do on this. So switch off. Auto battle. Because if you're automatic, you're not going to be able to do a manual command, are you? Alright, so what you'll find. As long as, I mean, everyone's built up enough. But if you put the um, battle boost on it, well, anyway. Go into elements. And we're going to go into Sarge's Luminaire. And it should be swapped for Delta Force. Yeah, it should be swapped for Delta Force. And then we're going to use that one. And that'll get us a trophy. Should. It should get us a trophy. Yeah, Deadly Delta. So, once you've done that, guys, that battle, how much damage? Oh, not too much. Yes, so just finish this battle, guys, and we'll pick it up afterwards. Yeah, we got him. So, we should be level 42 out of 99 now. And I'm just going to go back to save point point, get rid of these two, because they are useless. Yeah, Lena with a bloody... Is that a wooden spoon? Well... Yeah, Lena likes a good spoon. Yeah, so um, down to the save point. And we're just going to swap our party. Uh, teleporter. Yeah, so um, switch Rasly for... Who did I have? Oh yeah, Sprig and... Um, Sprig and Viper. Yeah, so let's do it. They're not really the best teammates, but they're really good for um, when you're just putting on auto battle, these two are. Right, just make sure they've got everything. Yeah, Viper's Venom. I've got Mass Immune. Yep, yeah. alright, we're good to go. Let's do it. Yeah, so this is the last dungeon. And we've got our Deadly Delta Tech. We've just got to do Kids Tech. Uh, level 7 and one more triple tech which uses kid and uh, when we do that we'll just um, do kids tech at the same time so push that pillar over and then come left down here come all the way down these steps down here down the waterfall and then that'll bring you down here of course and then come straight to the bottom up onto this sort of um, reef, I don't know, this thick hard reef, whatever it is. And I come down to the left, bottom left exit. Here, you need to come down. You see that bridge on the left, that wooden bridge in the background? Yeah, come down left, you need to sort of go back on yourself into the background. And um, then you just run to the left, and yeah, that will happen. You'll fall down a bloody big hole. And we get some dialogue. Just get through a dialogue quickly. Yeah, we're going to be picking up a few items now. We're actually going to be coming through this dungeon uh, two or three times. I think it's. Is it two or three times? I think it might be three times. Yeah, uh, we're going to come around here next. Yeah, and we always we get all these items every single time we come through here. Yeah, through this doorway. And loot this chest for the pack of lies. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Pack of lies in that chest. Come up. 
When you go over that waterfall, uh, hold forward, otherwise it'll wash you down. And get the Defender Plus. Yeah, very honest man I am. Alright, once you've done that, we're going to come up here. And off here, get that rainbow shell just in that little alcove. Carry on up. Once you get to about, you see this doorway on the right, once you get above that, we're going to drop down to it like so. And uh, get his chest, you probably remember this from earlier, and get a better carotene. I wonder if you are one of them which was trying to get to it earlier, <laughs> spent all that time. Just to give up and find out that's how you get to there. Yeah, so back along here afterwards and um, up and then to the right. Be another bo uh, boss battle in a minute. Yeah, once you get here, come all the way to the right side, push this pillar down and then push the other pillar down. Once you've done that, over the pillars and up the stairs, or the ramp. Come to the right now and interact with this red blobby. And challenge him to the death. Okay, so just take him out now. Um, yeah, so you can use the normal strategy. You know, Sprig summons White Knight and everybody else just attacks like normal. Yep, so I will leave it there guys, uh, not for the video, I mean for that fight. Just get on with this fight and we'll pick it up afterwards. Yep, we got him. Enemies are dying pretty quickly now, aren't they? So that's the um, Pyrator, I think it's called. So that should put you at level 43 out of 99. Almost halfway when it comes to star levels. Yeah, we have to get up to 99 for a trophy. Uh, but don't worry, the last sort of 50 will come a lot quicker than the first 50. So it's going to be like 8 hours again. Yeah, through here, we're going to loot the chest on the way. Because some goodies in here. We've got a weapon. Uh, yeah, that's a rainbow shell weapon. It's in the one at the top. So whenever we come through here, uh, always grab the same loot. Very important. And the spectral glove. You can get trophies without getting all this loot. Because um, we've got the trophies need for rainbow weapons but um, it's going to help us just make ourselves a bit stronger later so up here now left up right and in this doorway here there's a rainbow shell in that chest on the right i'm not going to get it viper manor yeah come into the library and talk to the um whatever his name is this guy the prophet that's it he's been expecting you he had a vision <laughs> yeah so get through this dialogue uh, yeah, this dialogue goes on for a minute or two, so I'll just get past it. Yep, once got through that dialogue. Uh, come over here. And this doorway is open now in the middle. So we're going to go up this doorway. And it's going to be another boss fight in a second. Just continue on up here. And a lot of, yeah, another bob. A uh, blob. Bob the blob. Yeah, it's a lot of boss fights in this, and like a small uh, time frame. That's why it's a good place to grab some quick levels. Um, okay, so kill the green guy. And I'll pick it up after the battle. Yep, we got him, the uh, anim Animotor. Yeah, that should put us at level 44, I believe. Yep, 44 now. Okay, so interrupt the uh, teleporter afterwards. And it's going to warp you up here. Yep, and then come over to the pyramid, just get an auto save, I guess. And then go either left or right, don't really matter which, but we have to go left and we have to go right. So, whatever you want to go first. I'm going left, so, um, yeah, if you're going to do the opposite, go right. Yeah, so we used to teleport at the end, it'll take you to a boss. Uh, so, I'm going to engage his boss. Yeah, defeat the boss, and, uh,. We'll meet again afterwards. Yep, we got him. Pretty quick, actually, that battle. Yeah, so level 45 now. And you'll notice, yeah, all these little bosses on this um, dungeon, you get like a tech afterwards. Yeah, it will sort of send that prism away. Interrupt with the teleporter again. Head back to the central area where the save point was. And we're going to go right next.
Yay, here we go right. The opposite way to left. Yeah, it's pretty windy up here. Make sure you've got shoelaces done up. You don't want to fall off. Yeah, once you got through that wind, you'll get to another teleporter and it will take you to another boss. And this should put us at 45. So I guess you can see where we're going in, in regards to how many bosses are left. You can only get a maximum of 48 stars in the first playthrough. And we're on 45 at the moment. Alright, so um, beat this boss. And um, I'll be waiting for you just outside the boss area. See if you can beat me. Here we go. Well, bloody hell, what took you so long? Fuck, I've been here five minutes waiting for you. Oh yeah, we didn't see what level I was. I was level 46, I think. And we got the Ultra Nova Tech. And we smashed the little diamond floating in the sky. Right, now the middle door's going to be open. So we're going to head back. Yeah, back down the teleport. I just trying to head left then. Whee! Yeah, and you go flying out a little chute. Yeah, just continue left. Just remember, make sure you've got a seatbelt on so you don't get blown away. And into the middle doorway. Obviously, save your game if you want to. Right, so we got two bosses left. Yeah, you got this blue blob, disrespecting the origin of life. You can always count on life. Yep, so kill this, kill this perp. And I'll see you at the teleporter. We got him, level 47, one more to go. You don't get a star level for final, final boss, by the way. Yep, got blue fields. And we lit all the beacons. Because we beat up all the blobs. And now into the teleporter. Yep, over here, stand on the um, floor plate to lower the door, up the steps. I'm pretty much going to be one of the final boss fights now. So interact with the um, frozen flame in the middle, guys. Beat the boss, and I'll see you afterwards. Well, it looks like I got him finally. That's quite a long battle. Can um, Quite a long battle if you've been using the cheats. Not really working on your build too much. Yeah, so level 48. And that's the maximum you can get in a single full playthrough. Without any like continue or new game pluses. Yeah, you'll get the earring off hope for beating him. And so there's going to be a bit more cutscenes and dialogue guys. And I'll pick it up after those. Okay guys, so we've got control back and we're about to do the last boss. So one thing I do first is because not all items transfer into your new game plus or continue plus. So we're going to go into Zapper and um, I go into his weapons and I unequip the master hammer. So you're going to have to equip some else. So I'm just going to lob on the bone axe. Okay, we're not going to be using him. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the smith spirit and we're going to disassemble the magic hammer this way you get to keep all the materials otherwise the magic hammer will just disappear from your inventory um so yeah it's weapons wasn't it yeah master hammer look at that right at the top and went all the way down to the bottom so look at all them all them uh, bits and bobs you get from it so yeah, we're going to disassemble it. There we go. Uh, yeah, because when you um, do continue push, you can dupe a lot of your items if you do it at the right time. All right, so we've done that. And we're going to go to the main island, to Arnie Village. And then we're going to head left into El Paso Beach. All right, so this is it. And we actually need to go to the home world as well. Yeah, forgot about that. So use your astral amulet. Go to Homeworld. And now there's actually going to be another aura on the beach. Like another bean. But this one, this one's going to be a purple bean. No, so it's not green. This one's going to be purple. And this beam actually appears on every continue and new game plus. Yeah, you see these kids? It's this one here, guys. Well, more, it's more pink. 
come over to it and use the time egg. Yeah, so make sure you're ready. Once you've done this, you're going to finish the game. So yeah, use the time egg. And say to the darkness of time. Alright, so for this boss, you actually have to fight this boss, well, at the end of the game. You have to fight this boss a lot for about, like, ten different endings uh, connected to trophies. Uh, but the one right at the very end of the game, once you've done Terra Tower, um, it's a little bit different. Because this one's like, this one properly finishes the game. But we're going to do the bad ending first. For the bad ending, you just need to take all his HP down normally. Yeah, so there's another way to do it, which we're going to do afterwards. So yeah, just beat him normally, guys. Bring all his HP down to um, zero. Kill him. And um, I will talk to you again. Oh, well, I'll meet you just afterwards. So yeah, kill this Lavos, whatever it is. The Time Devourer. In its true form. Yeah, it's got a 10,000 HP. So... Yeah, but it shouldn't take too long. 10,000 HP. So, yeah. See you in a bit. Yes, I think we've got it, guys. I can't quite remember what happens when you killed it. Um, on the bad ending. Yeah, because this will be the bad ending. Okay, so, um, yeah, you get a trophy. The Devourer undone. Gameplay recording pause because you entered the box scene. Okay. Yeah, so this is the credits now. And... You can't skip this. So get through this and at the end of the credits you're going to be asked if you want to make a manual save. Very important you make that save and that will be your cleared save going forward. And then what we're going to do each time we load that cleared save and then complete the game again we'll make another cleared save and then we're always going to reload the most recent cleared save. If that makes sense. So, I mean, if, if you want to make sure you don't reload the wrong one, you can just keep overwriting your same cleared save. But it doesn't really matter. You can either keep saving it in a new slot or keep overriding your old cleared save with your new one. Because, you, like I say, we're going to be loading, we're going to be getting about 10 cleared saves in this game. So, so yeah, get through the ending, guys. And um, I'll, what I'll do, I'll skip forward ahead to when it asks you to save anyway. So, I'll just make sure you do it all correctly. So you press the wrong buttons, you could perhaps skip through it, and that means you're gonna have to go and kill the boss again. Yeah, so enjoy the credits, guys, and I'll see you after. If you can read it, it's pretty blurry. And you get our trophy, guys, at the end, an, an unchanging future. I think that's for completing the game, and the other one was for the bad ending. So you get that fin, and then afterwards you ask you if you want to save your game. Make sure you press yes, of course. And then choose a slot, I'll go into slot two. Or if you wanna leave your endings, uh, sorry, your critical saves alone, you can just leave slot two and you can save this in slot one. Um, you shouldn't be able to miss this uh, because it's gonna be yellow. You see at the moment, you see the star, it's white. With the save, that star will be yellow. So you know if it's a cleared save. If I come back into it, there we go. You see the star is yellow. When it's yellow, that means it's a cleared file. All right, so just save it somewhere. Make sure you remember where it is, guys. And back out to title screen. All right, so now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing our first continue plus, and we're going to be doing about 10 of these. Some are going to be quicker than others. Um, so press any button. Yeah, going to continue, and you want to be loading your cleared save now. So wherever you saved it, yeah, so this is it, my cleared save. So we're going to click on there load it and you're going to get the option to do new game plus or continue plus yeah this can be a bit confusing to get head around at first but if you just follow my instructions shouldn't be too much of a problem i'm going to continue plus and i'm going to go into slot two and we want to continue plus on our last crit critical save critical save number six and that should be this one here it should say level 41 and you should be at chrono cross a point where destinies meet so that's crit critical save Number six, load that one up guys. So load to the clear safe, we clicked on continue plus, and then we load in this one. All right, so um, we're just gonna get back in our ship briefly. Yep, so get in your ship. By the way, because you're on continue plus now, all enemies are gonna have double HP. 
Yeah, double HP, so just remember that. Um, yeah, so use the teleporter. Now we're going to do the last of the tech trophies. So we want Sprig and Kid in your party. So Sprig, yep, yeah, and you also want Kid. Uh, so yeah, can't swap out Sarge. Yeah, there we go. So you, you want Kid, Sprig and Sarge. Right, and you need to make sure um, the Kid, uh, the, yeah, Kid's got his, um, Yeah, so he wants red pin equipped, I believe it is, and he's level seven. So just double check, I'll show you. Yeah, so he wants this one, red pin, but she'll have that anyway. And you also wanna make sure she's got hot shot equipped. So make sure she's got them equipped. Sarge wants his luminaire and um, flying arrow, I think it's called. Can't quite remember what one Sarge uses for this take if it's this level five or level seven. We'll just put them both on them anyway, just in case. Yeah, it'll be Luminaire or um, Flying Arrow for Sarge. Yep, yeah, and once you're ready. Yeah, and you can also, because you've done Continue Plus, you've duped a lot of your items. So you can actually wear another Dragoon's Gauntlet now. Uh, so if you come down here, you should have another one. Uh, two more. Yeah, see, like that. Uh, but what we actually want to do, we want to put a Forgot Me Not Pot on Sarge, Forgot Me Not Pot, and we also want to put one of them on Kid. Yeah, so a Forgot Me Not Pot. And there we go. Yep, yeah, once you've done that, we're about ready to go. So yeah, you want to come to this little island, there's no name at the moment until you go in it for the first time. So just press X around it, and this is actually the bend of time. And we're going to go to the door on the left. This door only opens on Continue or New Game Plus, by the way. But it's open now. And interact with this orange blob. There's going to be a fight. Yeah, you got to do three laps first, like he says. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, try not to go out, back out. Yeah, so before you let you engage him, he wants you to do three laps around the arena. Yeah, there we go. Three laps. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way here. Ah, oh, yeah. Lap number one. Yes, you might need. To, what you might need to do here is some um, turn off. Yeah, you'll know if you've done a correct lap. Yeah, turn off super speed. Yeah, there we go. You know we've done three laps. Because there'll be a battle with these three. Okay, so first of all, turn off auto battle. I'm going to use kids um, level 7 tech first. And we want to be attacking slash, by the way. We need to we need Sprig to learn slash as a doppelgang summon. And then you have to summon him, you have to use him as party tech. So kid, we're going to use her hot shots. And we should get a trophy for that. So I'm already locked on to um, Slash already. Lucas Legacy. Yeah, you get a trophy, Lucas Legacy. Okay, so all we're going to be doing is attacking Slash normally. So yeah, just keep attacking Slash until he's dead. Yes, yeah, keep attacking Slash until he's dead, guys. And I'll fast forward it to that bit. Okay, once he's dead, you need to go over, over to Sprig element doppelgang and you need to doppelgang into slash there we go as long as kid and uh, sarge have got a forgot me not pot on their accessory equipped that means what well, that means basically when they kill an enemy that sprig will remember that so some normally sprig acid kills him but with the forget me not pot that means anybody can kill him he's got it equipped of course and it will still count so make him doppelgang into slash that's it and then you probably have to build it with stamina again. So just defend a few times. Yeah, just defend a few times. Build it with stamina. That's it. And now you should be able to do the, the um, triple tech. Yeah, so you have to be kids slash and sarge. Go, go into element. 
And yep, it's that one, Z slash. Use that one and you'll get a trophy. And that should be all the text now. All the tech trophies anyway. And there we go, Z one and only. Right, just kill him as normal guys now. Just kill Elise and um, I'll see you afterwards. Finally. Yeah, a bit of pain in the ass then. Uh, well, I say them two, them three. Yeah, you'll get... Uh, I don't know if you get all them. I don't know if some of them are random drops or they're just, you know, they're guaranteed to get them. Uh, that slash, that's new weapon for um, Sprig. And that's all we need to do here. You can do this little puzzle if you want to get a, an, another accessory, but it's no need. Right, so um, all we're going to do now, guys, we're just going to do Terror Tower and then kill the last boss again. But we've got to kill the last boss in a certain way this time. Um, okay, so I'm just going to swap out my party a little bit. And I'm just wondering who can equip that new weapon we got. Yeah, so to find out... Yeah, I wish I made it a bit easier to find out, you know, who can equip what and um, stuff. Yeah, that slash, that weapon we got, that sword we got, I'm just wondering who can equip it. Um, oh, slash, oh, Viper can wear it, can he? Ah, uh, but it's exactly the same anyway. Um, but looks like, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna change Kid back to Viper, I guess. We'll be forging more rain, uh, rainbow weapons, but we'll be doing it a little bit later. Yep, so back into it, guys. And all we're gonna do now, we're gonna do exactly what we did before. We're gonna grab exactly the same loot, uh, fight the same bosses, but like I say, now they're gonna have double HP. So your first one is this yellow blob here. And by the way, now it's I think now it's better to um doppelgang into flee all the time. I think I think it's flee, you do some most damage. So yeah, doppelgang. Or it might be Aussie that does the most damage. Um but yeah, kill the boss guys and um I'll see you afterwards. Yes, we got him. You'll slowly be getting more powerful by the way now. Each each time we reload uh do a continue plus, you'll be getting more and more powerful. So this is probably the week he's going to be. So level 49 uh, for continue plus anyway. Yeah, so um, you remember, pillar down and over here. This dungeon is mo it's mostly just battles. I mean, it's not, if you skip him, uh, the random encounters. It's not like it takes long to get through it. So um, I'll just show it. I think we come through one more time. So we're coming through again this time, but we come through again one more time after this. But the third time, we don't defeat the final boss here in the dungeon. We just get up to the final boss and then we leave and um, yeah, do something else. That'll be in the next video. Yeah, so over to the bridge, it'll collapse again. Yep, over to here you'll get a dialogue, skip through it. Yeah, we're going to get the same chest that we got before. So we're going to go into the bottom right doorway. So the enemy gets out of the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, so loot that chest. Uh, for a pack of lies again. Hopefully, we'll get something better next time. Yep, yeah, and uh, follow this and loot that for the Defender Plus. Pack of lies isn't actually too bad a weapon, actually. I think it's for Harley, I believe. Yep, uh, once you've got the Defender Plus up here, get the Rainbow Shell. Not like we're ever going to use it, but we'll grab it anyway while we're just running past. So um, just up here again, we're going to fall down to that doorway again. And get the um, better carotene. Drop down and then make way all the way, all the way up and into the right exit. All these items we're picking up again. 
each time we complete the game, uh, load a cleared save and then continue plus, you do put your items almost. A little bit more to it, but yeah, mostly. Uh, knock this down. Knock this down. And you know what I've got to, uh, forgot to do? I've got to put Dragon's Gauntlet on. Um, and if we grab Dragon's Gauntlet, just make sure anything that your party's got equipped, accessories or armor, armor wise, take it off them. Uh, so I'm not sure if that carries over when you complete a game if other people have it equipped. Yeah, so Sarge, you want the other Dragon Gauntlet on him. Yeah, that one there. And it was Kid, wasn't it? Um, Kid's got the Forgot Me Not pot. I need to take that off there. Yep, alright, we're good to go. So yeah, Red Blob guys. Beat up the Red Blob next. And I'll see you after the battle. Yep, the Red Blob is dead. And we should be level 50 next. Yep, sweet. Yeah, we'll continue on. And uh, loot these two chests here. Yeah, we've got a rainbow shell. And um, there's a weapon in that one. I know you're probably thinking, why are we picking up these weapons again? It's because these, there's actually, you can find two rainbow weapons in the game. What the hell? Yeah, you can find two rainbow weapons in the game. Um, this one, Spectral Glove. And the better carotene, I think it's called. They're the only two rainbow weapons you can actually find, which I know of, not found anymore. Um, up here next. And um, because we've got them, every time we do a continue plus, we're duping them every time. And then when we get to it, or probably on the next video, we can unequip, uh, sorry, disassemble uh, like seven rainbow weapons because they've all like been duped. And it gets you all the materials like really easy. A lot of guys advise you to farm. But it's no need if you do that. Yeah, so get through this dialogue, guys, um, and I'll see you afterwards. Yep, so once got through that dialogue, uh, just like before, gonna head back, head in that new doorway at the top, which is opened up, and just gonna head forward and engage another boss. So, yeah, straight up here. And yeah, the green blob next. Yeah, so beat up the green blob, guys, and I'll see you after the battle. Yep, so we finished him. That should put us at um, level 51. Yeah, up the elevator. This will take us back into that room where you can go left or right. Uh, let's go right this time. Yeah, let's take a ride. Come on, guys. Follow me. Yeah, don't get blown off. It's a long way back up. Yep, up the teleporter. Yep, so take out this dude. This rude dude. Take him out. Yeah, we took it out. Yeah, level 52. One thing I hate about turn-based games, I don't mind it, sometimes the battles are fun, but it's so time-consuming. Yeah, so back down the teleporter. Yeah, turn-based, it, it can be fun, you know, sometimes. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed Persona 5. A lot of time, though, I don't really enjoy turn-based fighting that much, just because it's so time-consuming. Um, but yeah, we're heading all the way back to the left. Back to the middle room and now now to the boss on the opposite side. Yeah, we'll actually be coming through here one more time. One more time, but like I say, um, on the next one we won't be doing the very last boss in the Terror Tower. We just want to get up to it. Yep, so you beat up this guy and I'll see you afterwards. Yeah, we got him. Level 53. Reached a new level. And we found a black hole. Yep, 
Yeah, so back down the teleporter. And then back to life. Yeah, so down here to the right. Back to the middle room. And uh, if you remember, that front door at the top now will now be unlocked. Yeah, so head inside there now. And there's going to be another boss. Again. <laughs> A blue boss. Yeah, it just come clean up just becomes pretty much a boss rush I guess you could say right so beat him up guys and I'll see you afterwards yeah we got it so one more boss if you remember this boss was quite quite long this one to fight um, so obviously he's got double HP now so he could be a little bit longer so level 54 now and when we've done this next one will be level 55 so that's all the beacons lit so and the teleporter active above us, so go on, go on to it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do for this fight, because it can be quite long, um, what we'll do, um, we'll get the battle going, and then what I'll do, I'll skip ahead to when we get control back after all the cutscenes. So you'll you'll kill the boss, you'll get to level 55, you get another level up, there'll be some cutscenes, some dialogue, guys, and I'll pick it up afterwards. So yeah, just come up here, you encounter the boss, yeah? So um, coming over to this sort of a uh, flower, no frozen flame, and I'll see you after the cutscenes. All right, guys. Well, that yeah, that battle took longer than I thought it would. Okay, so um, first we're just going to get the uh, magic hammer again off um, what's his name? Uh, Zapper. We're just going to uh, disassemble that. Sorry. Yeah, disassemble it. So take the master hammer off him. We'll, yeah, going to disassemble that again. Uh, so yeah, take it off him. Come into your smith spirit. Disassemble weapons. Master hammer. Yeah, disassemble that, guys. And then come into Arnie Village. All right. Um, but let me just check my party first. So I've got a, a yellow, a green, and a white. Yeah. So, yeah, this battle coming up, you want to make sure all the three characters you have, they've each got a different colour um, element. So for me, Sarge is white, I think Viper is yellow, and Sprig is green, or it's the other way around between them two. Yes, yeah, so coming over to the um, over to the portal, you see actual amulet. Right, so um, there's a very specific sequence we need to do now for this boss. And it can be a bit tricky, actually. So we're going to open our menu. Um, go into Elements, Allocate. And you want to put one of each colour on everybody. And make sure it's the lowest level as well. So yellow, red, green, blue, black and white. But whatever their normal colour is, you don't need to put that element on them. So Viper, I don't need to give him a yellow. Uh, Sprig, I don't need to give him a green. And Sarge, I do not need to give him a white. So let's go for Viper first. He's yellow. Um, so what I'm going to do, reorder. Yeah, so I don't need to put yellow on him. So I need to put a blue. Try and use the lowest level one, so yeah. So what's my lowest blue? I've uh, got a level one cure there. Yeah, so I'm going to put level one cure on him. Um, I need a low level white. Uh, that's level two, it's not too bad. Yeah, so that's two colours. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, black. Yeah, this is black. If it's if the um, text is sort of shaded, that means they can't use it. By the way, uh, we'll give him a gravity blow. Um, so I need a red on him. Yeah, you go for fireball. That's level one. Uh, what else? Yeah, green. Um, Yeah, we'll go for Ewa Saucer, that's level 2. And is that all of them? Yeah, I think it is. So just make sure he's... So he should have six colours all together. So he's got green, white, uh, blue, black, red. That's five. And then obviously he's got his own yellow. There we go. Um, but because that's level 3, I'm just going to see if I've got a lower um, level yellow. Because even though you've already got a natural colour, you might just want to give him one which is lower level. So yeah, so there, I'm going to give him a level one yellow. Yeah, so make sure they've got every colour. So that's Viper done. Next for Sprig. 
Um, so his natural color is green. Oh, sorry, can't use Sprig. He's only got spaces for four because he's like a um, he's a summoning. He mainly summons. That's why he doesn't have many slots. So I'm just going to change Sprig for somebody. It doesn't matter who, by the way, uh, because you're not really going to be fighting. So it doesn't damage doesn't really matter. All right, let's go for Kash. Yep, so um, back into inventory, elements, yeah, Karsh. Okay, so um, he's naturally a green, so I'm going to give him a level 1 yellow. Yep, and a, is it a level 2 blue, which is all I have. I've got level 1 there. Yep, okay, and a white. I've got level 2 white there for him. Black, uh, gravity blow, yep. And a red. And a green. No, he's already green, isn't he? Okay, so I've got yellow, blue, black, red. And then I need white. And I think I've got put white on him. Yep, and um, obviously he's already green. Oh, but what I can do, again, like I did with Viper, I can try and get a lower level green on him. Um, I think I've only got Aero Saucer, actually. Yeah, but it's, it's still lower level than my level 3. Yeah, so he's got 6 elements, and now Sarge. Now for Sarge, you also want to put the Chrono Cross onto him. Yeah, he also wants a Chrono Cross. So um, I've got some reds already, so I'm going to lobby level 1 yellow. Um, yeah, you also want the Chrono Cross on him. Yeah, Chrono Cross, there we go. It doesn't matter where, just lob it on, um, try and lob it on slot one if you can. Element level one, like I just have. That's one to the far left. Okay, so I need blue next. Okay, I don't really have many blues. Um, I think we're gonna have to go with level three. Yeah, okay, level three blue is gonna have to be. Um, it's already white. Uh, okay, black. Let's go for gravity blow. And then I think I need a lower blue and a green. Yeah, arrow saucer. And I've already got blue there. Oh, I've got level three blue. Okay, so I think I've got them all. Uh, one, two. Yeah, okay, so I've got all the colours for Sarge. But I can actually give him a lower level white. Um, just so I've got all my. So my lowest level is um, level three by the looks of it. Actually, that's going to have to do because my lower level is a four. Yeah, I'm just talking through this, guys. Um, just so you hear me talking, because I know these menus can be a bit confusing to begin with, begin with. Okay, and yeah, we're ready. You might want to save it after that, so if it crashes some, you don't have to allocate all that again. Right, so um, yeah, come down here and use the time egg. We're going to do the good ending now, pretty much. And one, yes, to the darkness of time. Right, let me just walk you through a few things. You want to try and always use the lowest level. Um, to begin with, you need to defend until the boss attacks for the first time. Uh, so turn off auto battle, yeah, very important. And um, if you mess this up, just run away, come back in. Now what's going to happen, You can, when you use an element, it's actually going to show up at the top of the screen. And it doesn't matter if a, a different element has been used before, you just have to make sure you use yellow red green blue black and white in that order if you use yellow red and then the boss uses a red and red shows up that means you're gonna have to start from yellow again um but if you get to a point where the boss keeps interrupting you then just run away from battle and it actually helps just to turn off the fast speed guys um okay so just going to defend until the boss attacks oh he's already attacked he didn't take long did he so as soon as he attacks yeah i do normally try to turn the turn the speed down we're going to use a yellow attack first so only once be level one so yellow attack there we go and then next it's going to be a red attack yeah so um when the attacks in progress you sort of increase speed but then once you've selected your commands um slow it down so yellow next is going to be red um so red next low level red remember always go for lowest level and yeah fireball yeah next will be green green next
Okay, next it's going to be blue. Yeah, so blue element. And then it's going to be black and then white. And hopefully the boss is going to attack. Normally when I do it this way, he doesn't attack. And then black and white. So gravity blow. And then once you've done the six elements in the correct order, the boss will actually stop attacking. So, you know, you're sort of safe. And then white. You've got to finish off with white now. Up in there, I was going to say the boss disappeared. Okay, so white. And. There you go, we did it. So once you're doing the six elements in the correct order, the boss will no longer attack. So you just take your time now. And what you do, when you've used them all in the correct order, all you have to do is use the Chrono Cross with sides. So you see at the top, ignore ignore that first green. That's what the boss did. You need to do a yellow attack, then a red, then a green, then a blue, then a black, then a white. If a boss doesn't attack, pretty much what element has been used last will come down on the right. And then... If it's an element that you need, then it's fine. If the boss did it's an element, the next one is sequence. But if it's the wrong sequence, you have to start again from yellow. Just bear that in mind. It's sort of that them elements at the top, it's sort of like a continuous line, but it can only show so many at once and then they sort of disappear. But that is like a continuous line. You just gotta make sure you do yellow, red, green, blue, black, and white in sequence. Okay, and once you're doing that, guys, all you need to do is use a Chrono Cross, a Sarge. There we go. Use it, and then that'll trigger the good ending. Right, so I can turn up the speed now. Yep, so that's a good ending. And yeah, I know that's that bit's... Yeah, if you don't defend to begin with, um, that's quite tricky to do. When I try to just do the sequence as soon as the battle starts... A lot of time the boss would just interrupt me and I'd have to start from the yellow again. I think I've had it once when the boss actually did the next element for me, so I didn't have to do it. Yeah, if you do yellow red and then the boss does a green attack, then you can go straight to blue because the boss has already done that element. Um, but yeah, defend first. As soon as the boss attacks, go into slow mode and then do them in order. Uh, but when the attack's in progress, you can speed up a bit. Uh, but if you want to be safe, just leave it in slow mode. And yeah, yellow, red, green, blue, black, white, and use Chrono Cross, and that's it. Um, anything else you need to point out about that? I'm just looking through all my notes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so like I say, it's triggering the good ending, guys. So get through the good ending, um, and I'll resume just at the end when we make our next cleared save. So yeah, get through the ending, guys, and I'll see you in a few minutes, I guess. And I think that's it, guys. I will find you. I bloody hope not. Um, yeah, did you think it crashed at the end off just before the credits started rolling? It showed the good ending um, cinematics, and then it the screen went black for about a minute, and then the credits popped up. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. I think it does that every time, actually. But yeah, you should get the message, Finn. Um, in a second, there we go, and you get a trophy at a new future. That's for the good ending, and we don't have to watch credits ever again. By the way, all the other endings, it skips the credits. Luckily, um, so yeah, you're going to be able to save your game. So very important, make sure you save it. There you go, slot one, and yeah, so you're up here, file two. Uh, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep over overriding my same one so I don't get anything mixed up. I've got nothing to mix them up with then. It's always going to be a yellow one. So that's 48. That's our first cleared save. And I'm going to overwrite it. And let me just show you. So there we go. It's level 55 and that's our current cleared save. Yeah, that's our current cleared save guys. So that's our new one. So on the next video, we're going to be loading that cleared save. I'm going to be doing continue plus again.
Um, but I explain all in the next video, guys. Just make sure you save that cleared file. Yep. So that's it, guys. That video. So all we've got to do now, we've just got a bit more clean up. Probably got two, two videos left, perhaps two, two or three. You know, I think it's going to be two. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.